For Betsy Lane Fire Chief Eddie Clark, 50 years have come and gone since his first day as a firefighter. Well, there was a guy that was in his fire department at that time and he kept bothering me, wanting me to join the fire department. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to join to get him to hush. So I, go, I joined the fire department. And I guess I'm like a kid that never got over the, the excitement of a fire truck and a siren and red lights flashing. And I'm still here. At the age of 19, Clark began his career in firefighting and hasn't stopped since. Since 1971, much has changed in the way of firefighting and for the Betzeline Fire Department itself. However, one thing that hasn't changed is Clark's positive attitude. It's always a challenge. I always, I'm, I'm always the kind of guy that wants to set a high goal and if you just miss it by a little, it's better than setting a low goal and making it. And I don't like the word can't when people say you can't do this you can't do that when I'm trying to do something to better this department or better this community I, I will go overboard to make sure that I will do that I won't stop when they say you can't do it because you can't give up you got to keep going you got to keep striving and also when you get one goal accomplished start another goal and don't just stop right where you are and think well this is where I want to be. I don't want to get any better, but never do that. I always strive to get better. Much has changed in operations since Clark began his career as a firefighter. Throughout the years, changes include protective equipment and the advanced tools used to protect those in need. When we, when we started, when I started here, the only thing we had was a helmet. And we had one old truck, and the helmets hung on a hook on the side of the truck. So when you went to a fire, you grabbed the helmet off the truck when you got there. Also, there was no fire hydrant in the community and you had to fill the truck up out of the creek. And uh, it made things very hard. And uh, now we have eight trucks and a nice building and uh, we got turnout gear, class A turnout gear. And it's so much different. I've seen so many changes in, in 50 years and it, it's, I mean, it boggles my mind to see what this department has become over the years. Here at Pico Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. During his years as chief, Clark mentions some of the department's proudest moments, such as being the first volunteer fire department east of the Mississippi River to receive an ISO Class 4 protection rating in 1990. When I wake up in the morning and think of 50 years that I've been here, it don't seem that long. Um, I definitely don't feel my age, and, uh, and, and it and when I think back to the things that's been accomplished is not by me, it's by um, the uh, board we have and, uh, and the firefighters we've had and the ones we have now, they help make the accomplishments, not me. Um, but they're, it's, it, I just can't believe what this was when I came here and what it is today. And I can't imagine what it's gonna be in the future. And while Clark has no plan to retire, he hopes to leave a legacy for others to follow. As long, long as I'm in good health and I think I can contribute something and they don't run me off, I'm not going to leave. I've always thought about, I wanted to leave a legacy. I want to uh, leave something better than it was when I came here. And hopefully I can do that. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.